Hello everyone and welcome to Jared997's channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to properly use web, uh, your webcam and chroma cam in OBS Studio. Now please bear with me as um, I'm doing this live and on my desktop. I have a, usually have a second monitor. Um, I put OBS Studio on. Um, so <laughs> bear with me if things don't quite show up um, as intended. Uh, what we're going to look at today is how to get rid of a uh, the webcam error, having a webcam show up uh, with a with a red X over it. How to get that, uh, how to clear that out, and then how to properly add in the Chroma Cam um, to your to your scenes and sources. So you can see here on the left, these are some of my scenes I have for doing uh, recordings. Um, title screen. I have to look at my live <laughs> live feed on this side. Uh, my title screen. Um, and there we go. So here's the first thing I pull up, World of Warships, and holy cow, look, there's a webcam with a red X over it. What gives? Hey, look, I've got Chroma Cam in here as one of my sources, but it's not working. What's going on? It doesn't work. Okay, uh, Space Engineers. Oh, look, this one, this one's working. And this one's, I've named this one Logitech C922. So let's, uh, I'll get back to this in a second. Here's my desktop feed, no webcam. Um, my standby image, um, there's nothing here other than a plain image. Those aren't showing. Um, those are just all text and pulls. And this is just a static image as well. So let's go to, um, yeah, and this is my dynamic um, image for my desktop. So let's go over to, how are we going to do this? Let's get rid of this problem first. So what's going on here is we have two different video sources. Let's go just to add video capture device. If we see here in the add existing, I've got two different sources and I'm using them at the same time. Now, one workaround for this, hey, how's it going? is this option right here, deactivate when not showing. This is only a partial fix. It's not going to solve your problems. Not going to solve all your problems. Okay, so here we have listed both the different devices. This one's on the webcam. So deactivate when not showing, what that does is it actually turns off, let's go back to the desktop, turns off your webcam. Now if I go over to World of Warships, hey look! It's actually pulling up my uh, go away. It's actually pulling up my Chroma Cam feed correctly because it disabled the webcam, and now Chroma Cam can access the webcam and pull up the Chroma Cam feed. Okay, and we go over here. Deactivate when not showing. That's a key thing. So we go back. Now here's a trick with this. Even though they they both have deactivate when not showing, the transitions don't necessarily work. Um, between them so well. So if you go from Chroma Cam to Live Feed, you see it doesn't show up. Okay, if we go back to Chroma Cam, it's there. You have to go to a static image. Let's do my standby image. And then back to your live image and it'll load. But if we go from a live image to a Chroma Cam image, uh, it momentarily shows up. So it, this, I'm guessing this is a direct show problem. Um, a direct show on Chroma Cam, it's not um, properly unloading when it's supposed to. So what you want to do to prevent things like this, hey look my video is all black, my camera's not working, help, what's going on? Um, and things like, let's leave that on, hey there I am, and we'll leave this on this <laughs> to remove things like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all the scenes here and remove all the video sources. So title screen. Is there a video source here? No, this is a text. Yep, this is another text. This is the episode text. And that's my background. Nothing there. There is a video source here. So let's go remove this. Um, C922 via Chroma Cam. Yep, gone. Space Engineers. Oh, here's a video source. Let's remove that. So we're actually, yes, we're deleting it, removing it. Bye, gone. Uh, desktop, nothing here but uh, the desktop, which is momentarily going to blink out. Standby screen, again, text message. Text. So that's a Twitch feed, so that's a little bit different. That's a browser source. Um, text. 
text, and then again text. So there, there's no more video feeds. So now we don't have any video windows. Let's go back to, sure, let's go to the desktop here. We're going to add video capture device and now we want to use chroma cam we want to make a, a new chroma cam feed so we see here add existing is blank we don't have any pre-existing um, video capture devices and this is what we want this way we make sure that there's no problems uh, let's call this um, chroma cam webcam feed and I like putting capitals on things chroma cam webcam feed so we hit OK, it brings up this new properties window. Um, put this slightly out of the way. Uh, now this is pulling it up directly from my webcam. Let's switch this to Chroma Cam. And now Chroma Cam is going to deactivate. There we go. We're going to activate. The main point is it's working, it's pulling a Chroma Cam feed. Um, deactivate when not showing, you don't really need to use this. We're going to leave that. Uh, because if you only ever have one chroma cam source you don't need to worry about it it's best if you leave that unchecked we're going to say okay and now we look here in my feed here's my chroma cam feed so we're going to we can now take this window resize it let's resize this and we'll put me down where should we put me move this window down here we'll put me up here ta-da and oh i could even okay we'll put me down there All right there I am in the bottom corner of my screen um, here so now if we switch to Space Engineers um, World Warships the games aren't running so that's why you're seeing a black screen this is set to pull up um, the actual game so let's go ahead and add World of Warships we're gonna add a video capture device we're not gonna create a new one we already have a feed here so let's add the existing chroma cam feed click there OK and look it pops up the window right away despite it still being active on our desktop so let's resize this let's see for World of Warships I usually put it about here I'm about this big sits on right on top of my display wonderful now we go to Space Engineers that's a black screen desktop here I am down there World of Warships I can go back wonderful desktop there I am uh, go to a standby screen pull it up there it is and here back and forth I can switch between my um, I can switch between my sources all I want and everything is going fine alright so there is all of that I'm going to pop OBS back over to my other screen for the moment um, and I am now going to fade in so here's now my desktop uh, feed with my new chroma cam uh, window I put on here uh, and because I'm using the studio version I can make changes live to the desktop and fade in the new changes I can make me smaller fade in the new changes it seems to work here's my standby screen in three two one standby screen world of warships three two one there it is and I'm going to fade back to my desktop let's cut back to my desktop and cut ta-da there it is so that's uh, the brief tutorial on, on how to fix um, webcam issues and how to properly add uh, a chroma cam feed uh, the same the same uh, procedure you, you can use for putting your standard webcam feed in if you want the background um, you can do that only instead of clicking on chroma cam uh, cr click on your c922 or whatever your webcam is use that as a source but don't mix the sources don't have a chroma cam in one in one scene in and uh, a webcam in another scene um, it doesn't work nicely in OBS um, tell you what I will do this quickly to show you that it can work I'm gonna put this back over here so you can all see what I'm doing so for my my chroma cam feed go away I'm going to check deactivate when not showing and now this should this should be the same for this feed because it's the same feed deactivate when not showing so now I have that 
for my chroma cam feed. Now on Warships, I'm going to add video capture device. Uh, no, let's not put it on. Let's put it on Space Engineers. Add because on this scene, I want my regular feed. So I'm going to create new. We'll call it C922 Direct. OK. C922, we're going to deactivate when not showing. So now this is a C922 feed. And it's done something funny where the window's not coming up. Like if we select this, that selects, this selects the background. So what you have to do is how, with that, with this selected in your sources, right click here and where is it? Transform fit to screen. Okay, so here's not my C22 window. We'll make that a little bit smaller. Now, in order to get that to show up, we have to switch to a static image. And then, uh, 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 what's going? Deactivate when not showing. Static image. Oh, because it's still live. Okay. He. <laughs> so again, here, here's in here where is in the trouble lies. So to get this video to show up, I have to both in my preview and my live screen, I have to switch to a static image first. So here's my static image fade. Now I've got my static image on my preview and my live screen. I'm going to switch over to Space Engineers. Mm -hmm. Here, okay. Let's fade over. Okay, so here's Space Engineers with my uh, with my video, my live uh, video feed. Now I'm going to reposition this uh, video in my preview window and transition. So I'm transitioning into the same scene. I can make changes um, and then I can transition into the same scene and it's not a problem. Now if I transition to, if I pull up another um, scene that has the chroma cam, so if I go from a direct feed to a chroma cam, it will properly transition. I used a fade, you could use cut if they're both set to deactivate when not using. But the reverse is not true. You cannot go from a chroma cam feed to a live feed directly. Let's go back to desktop. You have to transition through a um, through a still image. Okay, and then you can, we'll cut, cut works too. And then you can pull up a live uh, a live feed. So it'll take a second, it blinks, but it comes back up. If you don't want that image to show up, always transition through a scene that doesn't use um, your video. So for example, um, here's Space Engineers. Um, it doesn't even have to be a static image. You don't have to transition through a static image like my standby. Um, you could transition through uh, a game capture that doesn't have a video feed in it. It doesn't have to be a static image. That is it. Um, please uh, leave comments below if I haven't answered your questions. Uh, if you have other questions, uh, didn't if I didn't answer something fully, uh, leave a comment if you want to see something, uh, another topic regarding OBS specifically. I've never used XSplit, so I can't do a video on XSplit. Um, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, always help. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching. We're going to transition to my end screen. Ding. Thanks for watching um, and have a nice day.